And hello there, my name is K-Hug, you can call me Kyler, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today it's episode number 23 of the Season 2 Let's Play Minecraft Bedrock Survival Series. Today, uh, well, <laughs> I just want to make a quick uh, thank you to all you guys who've been leaving the comments, the likes, uh, the shares. Uh, and if you're here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you're feeling kind, give this video a like, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Uh, the more, the merrier. Uh, we've got a fantastic gathering of individuals, and by commenting and sharing it to friends, you can find yourself a spot on our member leaderboard, well, member community member board, I guess, that we created a few episodes ago. So go and check that out as well. Now, we can get straight into what we're going to do today, and it's not going to be much, but we've got a long, long-awaited path that we need to design, and that is the path that leads to the Hall of All. And we also did this off camera. Um, this one I kind of messed up. I had two of these, I think, on accident. It was really tough to do. But this is kind of the landscape we got. And now that I've got it printed out on a map, obviously we've got quite a few to fill in here yet. Uh, this is our bridge to the Hall of All. So hopefully we'll be able to see it kind of sitting in the corner roughly here, I believe. And then what we'll, I don't know actually what's even out here besides just open plains. But this gives us a good view of the iron farm, uh, the mega base. Obviously, this will all look super cool and sinister. That's the gradient we did a couple episodes ago. If you haven't seen that one also, go check it out. Oh, <laughs> um, where, oh gosh, you can't see where you're going to place these things. There we go. So with that said, we're going to be able to make some pretty cool things. I think this all looks too open, and I believe this is also prairie and like flower over here. So I'm not totally against taking the time to convert that into a nice forest i think we're gonna need well i know we're gonna need some pod soil you can see i've started growing some of these uh, large spruce trees over in that direction and so maybe planting up some trees around way out here or maybe making a huge massive farm for us to farm oak and some of the other stuff obviously we've got a lot of option for cherry wood but not a lot of el else available we've got a couple couple oak there's one there 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 just a few just a handful so if we could just build a giant farm maybe out over here That'd be great, but I think being able to see all these things would be super cool moving forward. So we got a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, what we're gonna do today is we are gonna do, uh, if I already mentioned it, my apologies, we're gonna do that path, the walkway to the Hall of All. So we're gonna head out in that early direction and I'll meet you over at uh, the bridge that we created a few episodes ago. Let's go. Okay, so now that we're at the bridge, we need to continue a dirt path from this landing here all the way over to the doorway there. This doorway is not complete. It's going to need to be arched out like it is on the inside and hollowed out all the way through. So we're gonna to need to figure out what that stair step's gonna look like, where this is gonna land, and then continue the dirt path to that point. Now we've got our trusty scoop dog, a waste of four levels. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and I think just to get started, I can see that we already got some issues, not a big problem. But I want to light some of this up. It's pretty dark around here. And if we can keep mobs at least back away a little bit, I'll feel way better. We've had some we've had some creepers uh, intrude on our little pathway here from over this area. And so we want to make sure we keep that to a minimum. And that is going to be our start point for our path. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to have to go. Oh gosh, we, we, moved our, we moved our stuff around. Hold on. Sword, sword, sword. Uh, we need all these. Okay, he's not chasing. Okay. We need everything in our inventory here. We don't probably need the wood. So we can do this. We're going to have to get rid of some guys here. Wow, look at the creep. See, this is the problem that I've been having. Is the creeper spawn right out here. It's just it crazy. Five creepers. Out here just mess. Six creepers. Seven creepers. I don't know what's going on. So we brought our gold bed over. We took a quick snap, quick snooze. However, we're going to have to go ahead and take out these creepers because these will not despawn, unfortunately. All right, everything aside, we have a pathway set before us, and now we just need to get to designing. So I like where this is kind of leading. And really, uh, the place to begin is, you know... There's no real particular place to begin, technically, but if that's going to be about a four-wide path, 
I want to maybe build this in a little bit. Maybe I can just grab some regular. And that way when this comes down, you have a nice little landing of another half slab here, stepping it down. This is where the path will begin. And the path only needs to be about four wide uh, beyond this point. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go make at our handy dandy crafting table we left over here. Go make some slabs and some stairs. So what I'm gonna do with these stairs and these half slabs is they're also gonna help with our transition to get up and down these little lips here so we could put some, I'll show you. Let's just do a quick example and it'll all make sense from there forth. I think we'll just spread a couple torches out. I think that might've been too far. Just spread a couple torches out, grab some of our slabs and half slabs and you just kind of stick them in here. I don't like that. So that's gonna have to be a solid block, but we do have another additive to this, which is coarse dirt. And this is just a way of having a cool dirt texture without grass growing on top, which is awesome. And then we can't be afraid to go ahead and clean some of these up a little bit like so so this path kind of changes ever so slightly into the different wood type and the different variants of, of groundwork we come up perfect and we like i said we are just going to turn everything into not green grass that's part of the path which is easier said than done because sometimes even these random little things like this over or kind of over they're simple yet complicated because you, you start thinking about them you start thinking okay well i've got two there one there and you really start messing them up so it's it, it is a randomized pattern but trying to stay random intentionally is much harder than it looks we do something weird with this one we're gonna try to stare and see how we like that i think it's gonna be okay we haven't done any more so maybe that'll make everything a little strange there's a lot of coal down here And that's all light there. So this all should be pretty lit along this pathway here. Now we just got to change it all to Podsol. Not Podsol. Oh, we do have Podsol. I don't know why I forgot about that. Podsol is another block that we can use to really break this up. And I didn't even think about it until right this moment. Maybe it's not the block of choice we want. But I've, let's take a, pop a couple pieces in here. And give it a, give it a, give it a glance. Give it a look over. If I'm running down this path, yes, we got a nice texture imbalance, which is exactly what we want. We don't want it to look like a balanced texture because then we've then we've gone out of our way to make it look too crisp, if that makes sense. And I want to add a couple more in here. And then anywhere we don't like to see grass, we have the opportunity to pop a block in here. All right, I'm loving the light that gives off. Let me go ahead and sleep before all these mobs get up here. Come on, go, go, go. All right, we've slept the day away. It's another day, a new day. And time to continue on this path work. I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. This will be a nice, clean path. To come around, it gets a little narrow right here. But we want to leave room for some railings. Spoiler alert, there's going to be some railings. So we got to be careful we don't over... I think what the problem is I'm adding maybe a little too much over here and that's taking away from the depth of it over here. It is a little narrow. Oh, I guess I could take a little bit of this out. Something like that. And that'll give us the opportunity to just take a few more of these and widen this path up a bit. Maybe we've overdone it, but I think it's going to make it look pretty nice in the long run. I'm gonna go into my inventory real quick in our chest over here, and then we need to make some of these posts, some of these, some of the fence work that's gonna really outline uh, and give a good barrier to this 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 pathway. Now it is time for some fencing, and now the buttons I will say are gonna cause a, some headaches, like this one. Probably need to move it over, and the headache. The reason it causes a headache is I want to be able to fence that. Add in some bushes. And again, just like with everything else, we really want things to look kind of natural without being over natural, if that makes sense. 
I got three fences left. I've got all the fences in there so far. I do have three left, so we're gonna pop in just a couple fences somewhere. Somewhere in the middle of everything here. I think maybe we'll just do it right here. And now we get to do the bushes. The bushes are just an addition to the fences. They just add a little extra, especially these will add a little extra greenery. I think that one looks pretty nice. This one looks a little blocky. I think it needs a little more height on it maybe. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add in all these all these leaves to, cause, to make create little bushes along both sides of the path. And then we can take another quick glance at this one more time. Let's go. The bush work is nearly complete. We ran out of bushes. I think I'll go grab some here in a minute, but for now, we'll take a quick jog through our new designed trail to the Hall of All. I'm gonna F5 us for this so we can enjoy the ambiance. We've got some nice bushes along here. I think this side turned out very well. Obviously, we the right side needs to be more, uh, more complete, but it's all looking pretty good. I think we need one here, but if you picture this path, that we can jump along here, meandering its way up and around that mountain, up to the Hall of All. I think this is gonna be a very aesthetic design to the base. I think it's gonna add, it's gonna add a lot of cool, it's gonna be a cool feature. And I, the only question I have, so standing back, looking at the path, it looks great. We need some of the bushes here, a couple more on the other side, so we're gonna go get some more of the spruce leaves. But the big question, the big question is from that end of the bridge, in which direction are we going to go? Initially, I anticipated going up and around the long way and around up to the backside of the hollow ball. But I've noticed in recent times of me trying to get there, it is, it is easier to kind of just go straight up this. I don't want to make a path that's straight. So it would still meander through all these, there's a low point, a little trough there, a little low point. It would kind of meander up and through that still, but that would save so much resources. This, this guy, this path going around here would be massive. I guess if you're here in the comments below, go ahead and tell me what your preference is. We will go um, around the long way. Let's call it the Hmm. Let's get some names for these. We'll have the scenic route will be the long route around over my head over there to the right. And then to the left over there will be the quick route. So in, in the comments below, your preference. Do you want to see us build the path up the quick route or the scenic route? And it looks like it's time for me to go to bed. All right, bushes in hand. We are ready to continue our hedge work around the outskirts of this trail. We'll add a little guy back here. Maybe we'll even connect to the fence. Not a bad idea. I don't think we want one here because being able to stand here and look at the hall of all is pretty great, but we need to continue our bush work, our hedge work, sorry, along behind here. That one's a little tall, but I think it'll be okay. And some of these are going to look a little goofy just because these are above these railings. Uh, there's no real way for me to get around that. Unless I just don't want to have bushes behind some of these. Which I do, so there is no way behind around that. And that one's going to be quite large. Let's see how that looks. Not bad, not too shabby. There may be a good one here for sure. That'll be a good height. And if we want to add any more to these, since I made the other ones a little taller, we've got a couple short ones in here, a couple little guys. If we add some more to this one, I think it's, I think it looks like it's lacking some bush. Just like so. Take another step back. All right, we've gone through, we've added the other bushes on this side, so we go ahead and pop ourselves into that over camera view and take one more meander through this trail. You can really get a sense of how, ooh, 
and then we fix little pieces like that. You can really get a sense of how awesome doing little decorative bits like this really is. This could have just been a piece of open prairie, I guess, if you will, the big grass field that we could have ran through. Would have worked just fine, but adding all of this in and the button texture and really just everything is bringing a lot of life, a lot of life to this path. And I think I'm really, I'm really proud. I'm really happy of how, how this has turned out. I'm going to add a few more stones as I run through here just because now I have this third uh, person camera view. So we can see kind of where more stones would look nice like that. And I think now it is time to get out of here. But keeping in mind that you guys have a question to be to be answered on my behalf. So standing here at the exit of the bridge, uh, the point of return, is where we were left with our very first, we'll call it a community decision, if you will. We're going to call that the scenic route. It is a lot longer of a route around, but it is a very beautiful view with the forest in the background looking over the river or the quick route, which is up through this little flower patch here. You can kind of see how we'll maybe go over through this and up through there. It is a shorter route, much shorter, to go to what I'm calling the left over here versus the right. But do we want to go for speed or do we want to go for aesthetics? In the comments below, if you don't mind, give me a, give me a scenic route or a quick route as an answer, that's all you got to do. And then from there, I can help or I can start designing the rest of our paths. All right. Well, I think we've achieved kind of a, a pretty good, a pretty good chunk of design. I think the path is not, you know, it's not the longest path you've ever seen. It's also probably not the best path you've ever seen, but it's a path nonetheless. And it does exactly what we want it to do. With that said, I think it is time for us to get on out of here for the day. I appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, I really do. And I appreciate all of the kind words, the comments, the likes, and even the subscri subscriptions, the new subscriptions. So if you're here and you haven't subscribed yet, I know you're out there. I, see, I, I can see you. Yeah, you. Hit that subscribe button. That's all it takes, a little poke. Uh, and if you're also feeling kind, don't forget to like and share with your friends. One more thing, don't forget to vote on the scenic route or the quick route for the continuation of our Hall of All pathway. If you can, add that into the comment section below. That is everything I got for you today. And without further ado, as always, stay beautiful and we'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.